All right, welcome back, guys, to the Hack the Box Starting Point Lab Walkthrough Series. Uh, today, we're going to be tackling the machine dancing. Um, this is going to be the first Windows machine that we're attacking, and it's going to be the first machine that's uh, slightly more complex than the first two. Uh, the first two were just FTP um, and Telnet logins, uh, and that was kind of the only thing on the machine. Um, there was no credentials to go through. Uh, there was really no hoops to jump through. It was pretty straightforward. So as you'll see, um, I went ahead and already am connected to the VPN and I spun up my target instance. Uh, if you're unsure how to do that, I would highly recommend you don't start with this video and you go back and watch the previous two. Um, I figured at this point uh, that's pretty self-explanatory and we've moved past um, how to get that going. So if you don't already have these two steps completed, um, I would highly rec recommend just to pause the video, uh, get up to speed here, uh, and you can go ahead and pause the video now and then we'll get going from there. So in task one, uh, we're opening up with the question, what does the three letter acronym SMB stand for? So uh, SMB stands for server message block. Um, some people call it Samba. Um, Samba or SMB stands for server message block. And basically what this service is, uh, is uh, it sits on a Windows machine and it lets you share folders between a network. So Samba kind of lets other people access your specific folders, which is good in team environments. And it's, it's actually used quite a lot uh, inside of uh, Windows uh, networks. So Samba operates on port 445 and that is task two. And task three, we're moving back to this architectural question of what is the model of uh, SMB, which is the same as Telnet. And it is the, whoops, it's the client server model. And if you don't remember, the client server model is um, a model architecturally that uh, involves two devices. One of them is the server, so it's listening to the client. Then the client pings the server, or it says, hey, I, I'm requesting this, and then they communicate in that fashion. And then moving on to task four, what is the service name for port 445 that comes up in our Nmap scan? So now we're gonna start doing some Nmap scans. So let's go over to our virtual machine. You can see here's my um, initialization sequence for the VPN. I'll enlarge my terminal so you guys can see it. And we will do an Nmap scan with the same flags that we have been doing. Uh, except for this time, we're just go, we need to grab the IP address of our target. So let's go ahead and copy this. Whoops. And let's paste it here. Let's paste it here. Um, this might take a second, so I will edit out the scan running, and I'll be back again with you guys once the scan is finished. Okay, welcome back, guys. So the Nmap scan finished. Uh, it might take a second for you, uh, but no worries. Just go ahead and uh, wait for that to run. Uh, what you will find uh, is that we have three uh, ports open with three services running. So uh, we don't really need to worry about 135 and 139 right now. Um, however, what we do want to focus on is that port 445 is open, and that is the Samba service. And this is specifically what it was asking us is this Microsoft DS, because it was asking us what service is open on port 445. So let's go ahead. We'll copy this and we'll come back over. Whoops. We'll paste that there. And then it's going to ask us what tool we use to connect to uh, Samba shares from our Linux distribution. So as I noted, um, the Samba is a service that runs on Windows machines. So there's not necessarily um, uh, support for it by default on Linux. We have to use a tool. And that tool is called SMB client or Samba client. Um, and you should just have it straight up installed by default. Um, and what you'll see is if you're on Kali, it should turn green. So let's go ahead and we'll go back and answer that question really quick. Samba client. 
Um, and then we'll move on to task six. It says, what is the flag or the switch we can use with the Samba tool to list the contents of the share? So what we can do is come back over to the machine. And what we want to do, as I mentioned, um, Samba is a, uh, a service that shares um, folders, or they're called shares, uh, across the network. So what we want to do is we want to use dash capital L. Dash capital L is going to list all of the shares on the target IP address that are available. Paste it in, enter. So when it asks for the password, um, all you're gonna do is you're just gonna hit enter really quick um, and it'll list the shares because there's no password on listing the shares. So for task six, um, to, to list the shares, all we did was dash capital L. So we'll submit that. Now it's asking, what is the name of the share we're able to access in the end? Um, so we know that the share ends in dash, at, or en ends in S. Uh, so we can go back and look at the shares. Um, one thing that you'll notice is this is the only one that ends in an S. So we know it's gonna be the work shares uh, share. Uh, however, you do know that uh, the note that the uh, dollar sign at the end of these means that they are for administrators. So uh, this one is not. Um, so we know that we're going to be able to connect to this work shares. So if we come back over to task seven, uh, we can enter work shares. Enter that in. And then task eight is going to say, what is the command we can use within the, within the Samba shell to download the files we find? Uh, that's going to be very similar to FTP. It's actually the same as FTP. Uh, and that's just git. You say git file name, and it'll download that file to uh, wherever you launched that Samba connection to, exactly like FTP. So we'll submit that. And then we will go back over to the uh, virtual machine and I will show you guys how to connect uh, using SMB client and then grab the files from that remote machine. Okay, so now we're back over in the terminal here. Uh, we know that the work shares share is going to be the one that's open to connect to. Um, so what we can do is we can use the Samba client again. Um, if I could spell it right, we could use it. So let's use that. Um, and then this has a little bit of a funky uh, syntax to use. So what we're going to need is we're going to need four backslashes. Once we have the four backslashes, we can come over to the hack the box thing, grab our IP address. So it's going to be four backslashes, the IP address, and then double backslash. Now we want the name of the share that we want to connect to. So we have Samba client, four backslashes, IP address, double backslash, and then the name of the share that we want to connect to. We'll hit enter, um, and then we're going to hit enter again for a blank password. And then what we see is we're able to connect to that Samba share. That's this, um, this prompt right here. It looks very similar to like uh, FTP prompt. So we can use the same things that we would uh, in an FTP prompt. Uh, we'll just do like LS, we can list what's in here. Um, we can even go to Amy's, whoops, Amy's directory, see what's in there. We will grab the work notes file, and then we will cd back. You can use dot dot to cd back. Let's see, what was the other name? So we're going to cd to James, and then we'll list what's in James. Okay, so it looks like James has the flag. So we will then do git flag.txt, enter, um, and then we can exit out of this. So now, let's get rid of that. Let's check out these uh, files that we downloaded. So we'll list these out. Um, we will come over, we'll cut out the work notes first. Okay, so it looks like it's just some fake work notes. And then we'll cut out the flag. And that is our flag. So um, this should be good to go. Let's just check it just to be sure. Um, we'll come back over to Chrome, enter in the hack the box flag format. So HTB, the flag, or open curly brace, the flag, and then close the curly brace and submit it. And then just to prove that that is the flag, 
it shows that we've pwned the machine. All right, so join me back again uh, tomorrow, guys, and we will go through the next box, which is going to be explosion. Thanks for joining in.